Alabama is viewed as the premier college football powerhouse when looking at the past two decades. What if I told you there was an even more dominant program during that time period, and you have probably never heard of them? The dynasty this college has put together includes making the national title game 50% of the time the past two decades and winning six national titles. That school is Division II powerhouse Northwest Missouri State, the winningest program in Division II history. The crazy thing is, this dynasty almost never happened. Over the past few weeks or so, I have had a lot of fun looking into St. Thomas football and the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association, so I thought why not dive into the most dominant Division II program over the past few decades. The title goes to none other than Northwest Missouri State, a school located in Maryville, Missouri. Northwest Missouri State plays in the Mid-American Intercollegiate Athletic Association, aka the MIAA, different MIAA than I covered last week. They were one of the original organizers in 1912 and have not played in any other football conference since. The conference's headquarters was actually located in Maryville until 1997. The Bearcats play in the oldest stadium in Division II, Bearcat Stadium, which seats over 6,500 people. In 1994, the Bearcats were not in a great position. They had not won their conference since 1984. Enter Mel Turchmus. Mel is originally from Springfield, South Dakota, and played multiple sports at Southern State College. He began his coaching career in Akron, Iowa, coaching high school football. He led Sioux Center High School to its first Class 2A state championship. He went to Denison High School in Denison, Iowa, where he guided that team to a 9-0 record in 1975 and a berth in the state playoffs. He earned Northwest Iowa Football Coach of the Year honors in 1972 and was the Northwest Iowa Track and Field Coach of the Year in 1973, 74, and 75. He then became the offensive coordinator at Northwestern College in Orange City, Iowa. He also served as a track and field coach there as well. He helped the Red Raiders make four trips to the NAIA Division II playoffs, including the national championship in 1983. His offense led the nation in total offense and scoring twice, and his track teams won three Tri-State Conference titles and five consecutive NAIA District 15 Indoor Championships. He then became the head coach at Austin College in Sherman, Texas, coaching there from 1984 to 1993. He led them to a 59, 39-4 and four record, becoming the school's winningest coach. He guided them to three Texas Intercollegiate Athletic Association Championships in 1984, 85, and 88. He also led them to two NAIA Division II playoff appearances. Then he was hired by Northwest Missouri State. So you know how I mentioned the Bearcats were not in a great position earlier? Well, before Church misses arrival, Missouri announced plans to close the school. The school somehow survived, but the first season under Churchmiss did not go well, as they finished 0-11 in 1994. Two years later, they made the Division II playoffs for the first time since 1984. In 1998, they won their first Division II championship, finishing 15-0. This was the first time Northwest Missouri won a national title in any sports. In 1999, they repeated as national champions, going 14-1. From 2000 to 2003, the Bearcats won 49-11, winning three conference championships, but never making it past the quarterfinals during the playoffs. From 2004 to 2008, the Bearcats finished their seasons in heartbreaking fashion, making it to the national title game, but always coming up short. They finished that time period going 50-9 and, and won three more conference titles. In 2009, the Bearcats finally made it over the hump and won their conference title in a national title to finish 14-1. The 2010 season was Turchmas' last with Northwest Missouri State winning their conference title but losing in the semifinals of the playoffs, going 12-2. During his 17 seasons as the Bearcats head coach, Turchmas went 183-43 with a conference record of 131-21. They won 12 conference titles, 3 national titles, and besides the 1994 season, their worst conference finish was in 2001 when they finished 3rd. In Turchmas' last game, they played during a snowstorm that collapsed the Hubert H. Humphreys Metrodome roof. Temperatures were in the single digits and the winds blew at 30 miles per hour. Northwest led most of the game until 14-12 left in the 4th quarter. The school elevated Scott Boswick, Turchmas' defensive coordinator since 1994, to be their next head coach. But before Boswick ever got to coach a game, he died at the age of 49 from a heart attack. Offensive coordinator Adam Dorrell, who had played at Northwest Missouri State in 1994, served as a grad assistant in 1999, and was a member of the staff going back to 2004, became the head coach after Boswick's passing. 
He told SB Nation, I think the thing we did immediately as a staff is we sat down and I just told everybody, you know, I can't be Mel Terchmas and I can't be Coach Bostwick, but I can be Adam Durrell. I'm confident that's going to be good enough. Durrell didn't want to make wholesale changes, but he expanded the Bearcats recruiting footprint beyond its classic terrain of Missouri, Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. He went into places like Wisconsin and Chicago, which don't have Division II programs. He competed with FCS schools like South Dakota, Northern Iowa, and South Dakota State when he thought it made sense. And he brought Northwest's recruiting operations to Florida, where there are more good players than the state's 11 Division I programs can snap up. Northwest also accepted drop-down players from the FBS, whose journeys just didn't work out, as long as they were willing to do it the right way. His coaching philosophy, be good at defense, even if it means investing more of the program's NCAA limited scholarship portions on that side, be multiple and adaptable on offense, and be very, very fundamentally sound on special teams. Durrell led the Bearcats to four conference championships, four national title game appearances, and three national titles. He compiled a 76-8 record and a 56-5 conference record, and would take the Abilene Christian head coaching job after the 2016 national title. Rich Wright was named Durrell's replacement. Wright joined the Bearcats staff in 2004 as a defensive line coach and special teams coordinator before becoming the defensive coordinator in 2011. Although they have not returned to the national title game since 2016, they have won three conference titles under Wright, who has compiled a 42-10 record. They had one player drafted this year and one player signed as an undrafted free agent so far. Northwest Missouri State is simply a Division II powerhouse that has found unfathomable success the past two decades. They are a special program that built themselves up from ruins. And that is why they are the most dominant football program in college football. What do you think? Do you find the success the Bearcats have found special? And had you heard of them before this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for daily college football content, and check out one of my other videos the algorithm knows you will love right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.